Hey, what is up, everybody? My name is Subal for the Four. Welcome back to Let's Play Genshin Impact Simuru Story. Now, in the last part, we were able to um, we were able to get, we were able to reunite with everyone and get make up a plan to see what will happen. And I'm guessing what uh, what's happening here is also um, what what the um what Al Hig Time has done with the hum helmet thing, um that that he put on us in the last episode was to record some sort of like truth and data and everything like that so we're gonna see what's gonna, gonna happen you could say that those kinds of ambiguous zones can be very interesting one might even say they're advantageous in the right hands things you're interested in are really out there are all Sumero scholars like this perhaps anyway that's enough chit chat i'm going to take those two to work on some small projects you can head to Caravan Rebot and start preparing for the next step. Got it. Small projects? We are going to tinker with the Akasha Terminal and make a few... modifications. Ooh, sounds like a plan. Sounds... sounds, um, awesome. Alright, let's see. Okay, thank goodness it's out in somewhere we know. No. And teleport! I need to teleport. I need to wake up more of these teleport waypoints. Gosh, I'm making it, missing out on so much, um... A uh, risen, so many risen. From the gems. I thought we agreed on a plan. How can you go back on your word? The plan is too radical and carries a high risk for casualties. I've given it a lot of thought, and in the end, I still can't agree to it. But it's still the best plan we have. Is a former matra, you of all people should be able to see the bigger picture and recognize the innate advantages of our plan. I did. And that's how I saw the danger behind these so-called advantages. <sighs> oh, Hitham's plan is even more radical than I imagined. Huh? Why are you guys arguing? My friend, you're just in time. Why don't you help me persuade Sino? He's turned against our plan. Hang on, hang on. We agreed to work out a plan at the meeting. As mercenaries, you're familiar with the local environment, so you'll take care of the specifics. But then, you went to All Haytham for suggestions. Had I known All Haytham would give you those kinds of suggestions, I would not have agreed to the plan. Look, you already know that we're all on the same side here, don't you? Mercenaries place a lot of importance on their bonds of friendship, but also will not hesitate to make sacrifices if they deem the situation to be sufficiently dire. <sighs> I'm sorry, but as things stand, I can't accept your principles. Hmm. <sighs> Seems you really do understand the ways of the desert. Oh uh, yeah, he is a desert dweller. Traveler, Paimon. This is also something you should know. Raman's plan is to have me work with the Caravan Reebok guards in my capacity as a Matra. I see. We will arrest the mercenaries and escort them into Sumeru City. Hmm. Wait, how can we work with the guards? We can't get through that wall easily, remember? Caravan Reebok would never let so many unregistered members of the Aramites enter Sumeru City. My plan will clear us of any possible suspicion, and also let us enter the city as a big group. There is no better way. That also sounds like something Al Haytham told you. Am I right? Doesn't Al Haytham know how dangerous this plan is? Of course he does. He told me, there is no perfect plan, but this can get the job done. He also said that with the help of Sino and the Traveler, our chance of success would increase significantly. I never blindly trust anyone, and I've always had a good eye for people. I think he made a number of valid points. It's my own choice to trust you. If I make the arrests alone, I can control myself and prevent you from getting hurt. But I can't guarantee that kind of discipline from the guards. To make the whole thing more convincing, you'll need to resist to some degree. Casualties are inevitable once push comes to shove. I'm okay with the deaths of enemies. But now that we're allies, I'm against the meaningless loss of our own. <laughs> I can't believe a mantra would actually care about us. I've lived a hard life, and I can say that people like you are 
hard to come by. Oh. I've always treated my allies with honesty and respect. They have the right to know important things like this. Now you're making this hard for me. Hey, is there something we can do to help? I, if I can't help, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I knew you would say that. <laughs> we can help fight some of the mercenaries, which should reduce the number of times you'll have to struggle directly with the guards. That should help at least a little bit. We should respect the determination of the of Raham and his comrades. Sino, on behalf of my people, I thank you for your kindness. But this is a mission we cannot turn our backs on. Mm -hmm. We strongly value the lives of our friends, but the goal we are about to achieve is even more important. We have no fear of casualties because we crave the spoils of victory. So please, lend us your support we will show you the determination of us desert dwellers. Well, now that you've put it that way, I can no longer refuse. But yeah. remember, you need to follow the plan and not do anything reckless. Candace hmm. made it very clear that we can only achieve our goals if we can ensure our safety. Since you and I both recognize the significance of this operation, there should be no more animosity between the followers of the Dendrowarkon and those of King Deshret. Everyone's life is equally important. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have a deal. Let's do this for our shared dream. Heck yeah! The guards should be stationed in the courtyard nearby. You can find them. Oh, dang, I cut them off. Okay. All right then. Hmm. There we go. Okay. So off that way. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a little bit farther off. Okay. There must still be traces of King Deshret's in the desert. Hmm. I'm guessing word of um, King Deshret's uh, temple is like starting to go out. Go. Yeah. Hey there, what's up? There we go. Guards! General Mahamatra! To to what do we owe the honor? Keep your voice down. This is a secret operation. I'm going to arrest a large criminal gang near this location. According to the Academia's Guide and Regulations on Secret Operations, I have the right to ask for the cooperation of Caravan Rebot. Ah, of course, of course. Mahamatra Sino's order is the Academia's order. Just let us know what you need. But who exactly are you planning to arrest and how many people are you expecting? Depending on the scale of this operation, we may need to report it to our superiors. They're a squad of air mites whose number is comparable to Ein El Akmar in Port Ormos. They're involved in the theft and resale of supplies from the Academia. As many as Ein El Akmar? This should definitely be classified as a joint operation. Then I suggest that you report this to your superiors as soon as possible. And treat it as a top priority desert operation. I will need personnel. Got it. Please wait a moment. I'll contact them immediately. Hmm. You look so commanding when you're work working. Because this is work. You're much more friendly to us. Because I trust you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, simple reason. I love Sino, man. I think he's going to be in the character for, um, oh, roll for it, but then again, I have a, I already have a lot of, like, Trump characters. What if these guards already know that you have betrayed the Academia and are no longer their General Mahamatra? Even if that guard doesn't know, their superiors might, right? We discussed this, remember? The Caravan Rebot operation is of great importance. But don't worry, the guards there shouldn't know that Sino has stepped down. How can you be so sure? First, the other Matra still don't know why Sino has left, which proves that the Academia has been covering up the matter. Hmm. Second, that makes sense. this is a crucial moment for the Academia's God Creation Plan. If something were to happen to the General Mahamatra, it's bound to attract a lot of unwanted attention. No matter how you look at it, they don't seem interested in sharing the news of Sino's departure. A reasonable inference. I agree. Which brings us to our next issue. 
I'm sure some of you have been wondering if the prediction function of the Akasha will affect our operation. The Akasha is still in operation, so I must remain on high alert. Actually, considering the power of the Akasha, it's quite strange that it hasn't already tried to interfere with my actions. I've given that a lot of thought. For now, I don't think you'll need to worry. If you remember, when you first came to Aru Village, all your actions and routes were predicted by the Akasha. It even gave that information to those who kidnapped the village keepers. But things like that never happened again after we met up with the Traveler. Hmm, that's true. But why? Look at it from a different angle. Why do you think the Akasha will predict your actions? Because my personal data has been entered into the Akasha. That's true, but the key to this question is, how well can the Akasha make predictions about a person? Haven't you ever thought about it? Just how can it do this in the first place? Because the Akasha controls the entirety of Sumeru. The Academia firmly believes that all human actions can be explained through logic. Nope. By sorting and analyzing entered data, the Akasha can derive behavioral logic and predict the actions of those who fit an existing logic model. However, at the risk of sounding like an advocate for fallacies, can everyone truly be considered logical at all times? Nope. Emotions are part of our behavioral logic. But can you guarantee that every experience of the same joy or pain would be equally intense? How can our feelings and opinions be predictable down to the letter in every single instance? <sighs> Sino, in the past, you've always worked alone. In the absence of another person who could sway you or your thoughts, the Akasha could produce predictions that were similar to your real-life behavioral principles. Interesting. Decisive and principled, you were used to solving problems alone. That's why the Akasha could figure you out. Interesting. But now, you've joined a team. And I believe the Akasha hasn't yet figured out the full composition of it. Our thoughts and logic have intermingled and weaved Ooh. themselves together to become a complicated, chaotic mess. Any one of us could potentially disagree so with acting another. Out of character, the Akasha lacks the Akasha. data on these interactions, and it's impossible just... for it to predict your actions in the future based on your decisions in the past. After all, there's probably a limit to just how much we can be modeled or controlled by data. So, in my opinion, you're probably safe for now. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense to me. I agree. The Akasha is not alive, and I don't think we can be completely controlled by something without a mind of Honestly, I wish that whole explanation could be simple down, so? but whatever it, it is, I what guess it is. there are things that even the Akasha cannot calculate, and people will not be forever trapped by the past. Yep. Oh, I'm so glad that this is settled. Next time, pay attention during our meetings. Well, she did went off to get, get snacks and everything like that and tea with well then again that might have been the only the reason why she didn't remember that dang it paymon the next time you do something like that you're definitely gonna be put placed between two buns and become a paymon sandwich just remember to stay vigilant will do i'm ready to... general mahamatra we were not expecting your presence here i'm the security officer of the great red sand district Sorry, my guys. name is luxembarbo What's up, Luxembourg? This is my assistant, the Traveler. He will be working with me. The construct next to him is for his work. Beep! Construct! Beep! What a great honor to meet you. Your golden hair is as bright as the sun. And, uh, is this the latest technology from the Academia? Don't worry about it. Have you made a decision regarding the matter I mentioned to your subordinate? It seems to be a dire situation, so of course you will have our full cooperation. To be perfectly honest, I've always longed to go on a mission with someone as well known as yourself. Yeah. There's no need for flattery. Yes, sir. Take your most elite platoon and follow me to the eastern side of the district. We will carry out the operation there. Yeah. Understood. All right. <sighs> map. Oh, hurry, bring the map. Brings up our map. In two location. days, we will engage Ramon's Aramites and <sighs> capture all of them. Any questions about the time or location? None at all, sir. Good. See you then. Yes, sir. 
Oh boy. Does that mean we have to skip two full days? Ugh. Hanging around the General Mahamatra isn't so bad after all. Everyone's so respectful towards us. Yeah, it does feel pretty good. This is all due to the absolute authority of the academia. And now, we're going to strike back against that massive pillar of power. Heck yeah. Get ready. We will move out in two days. Gotcha. Okay, so now we have to wait for two whole days. Ooh. Anyways, hmm. but that's something you guys don't have to worry about because that's this is going to be the end of the video here. So guys, thank you everyone so much for watching. If you guys like the video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button. Share the video, guys, as well. Please share the video. We're trying to reach up to 100, 150 subscribers. Dang, I keep on missing up on my intro on that. But anyways, um, might as well go through with it. If you... We're trying to reach up to 150 subscribers before the first half of the year comes by, and I can't do that, guys, guys, without you, so please help me out with that. Also, guys, if you want to share your thoughts on the video, go ahead and comment down in the comment section down below, and, ah, go ahead and comment down in the comment section below, and once you do, um, also, guys, if you're new here, uh, please hit the, hit the subscribe button, not only will it help us out with our goal, it'll, um, uh, also, uh, It'll just help out with our goal as, as well. Anyways, um, w once you do subscribe, um, please don't forget to hit that lovely little bell to receive all notifications. I'm Super Mario Bros. Four. This has been this has been an impact, similar story, and I'll see you later. Peace out, peace out, and God bless you. Ah! Insolent.